Hi, my name's Leona from Supraconscious Soul and this is your Divine Feminine July, reading for July, yeah, 2018. So, underneath the deck, the Divine Feminine has the Three of Cups. Now, the Three of Cups can talk about the Divine Feminine raising our energy levels at present so this is the undercurrent energy so this is things going under under the surface it could also be that there could be fears and the reason i say fears is because her um major arcana card was the moon so i'll come back to the moon in a minute but there could be fears around this three of cups now it could be free fears about energy so fears about emotional energy so can like something could have knocked her emotional energy and she's like worried can I get this energy back up again to where I was it's like something could have knocked her back but it's also the three of cups can talk about a third party energy now that third party energy doesn't necessarily have to be another partner or a, a cheating although it can be it could be a boss that's the third party it could be a child it could be a mother-in-law it could be a situation that has become a third party in the relationship as well so the divine feminines are either having these fears around a third party relationship or um, something interfering with their emotional um, stability or they are Trying to raise their energy levels, it's getting out there. They're using that energy to get out there and to get more social with their um, friends, more with going out with acquaintances. This is small gatherings, celebrations, small victories, yeah? It could be that the Divine Feminine is celebrating her small um, victories in some sense. Um, maybe gaining stability in emotions, because it can work vice versa, depending on who the energy is, who the reading is, who is watching the reading and where they're at in the energy. So... Yes, we have the moon card. Now, the moon card can talk about Pisces, but it can also talk about that Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy, that intuitive energy. It's like the divine feminine is needing to listen to her intuition this month as opposed to her fears, yeah? It's like the divine feminine could also be feeling like she hasn't got all of the information around the subject. Now, this could be an information around this third party or this third party situation. Maybe feeling like some part of that is hidden in some way. Yeah, it could also be that it um, occurred around the full moon just recently because we have the moon here. But it's it's fears, it's it's what some kind of projections. But the divine feminine is being asked to listen to her intuitive nudges. She's being asked to listen to her dreams, write those down, but not allow her fears to get the best of her. So, we also have. Finances and careers. Financial issues are a factor in your love right, life right now. So the Divine Feminine could be having financial issues. This could be in terms of work. This could be in terms of the children. This could be in terms of overspending. This could be in terms of feeling like there's fears and spending money because of that they could be you have to watch out for spending sprees this month divine feminine make sure you're not spending with your emotions so yeah we have financial um, factors could be a problem so the divine feminine is also being asked to free herself it says it's time to take back control of your life so for some of you that could be taking back control of your finances taking back control of your fears taking back control um so that you can have this um achievement or this award this celebration but you're being asked to take charge of the energy in some way and not allow stupid things to restrict you but not necessarily stupid things but it's also not an allowing things to dominate you 
yeah not allowing things to take away your magic this month as well because we have this very magical creature surrounded by a very mundane fence so that's a le that's um a message for some of you so we also have the attraction card so you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully so that is just standing in your essence standing in who you are divine feminine um not having that energy of once you free yourself it's then allowing yourself as it, as you free yourself it attracts others in yeah and it says so as you as you become more free in yourself it's like people are like oh that's not a horse in there that is actually a unicorn so it's that kind of energy you're bringing it more to you and that kind of freedom and that kind of freedom of um emotional energy and creativity as well allowing freeing yourself creatively allows finances to flow and prosperity to flow better and now the reason i'm going on so much about finances as well is because we have some losses here for the divine feminine this is two something's gone out of balance financially for you guys yeah so we've also got the miser card or somebody trying to hold on to finances so it could be that somebody is dominating finances for you this is 15 so it's talking about six so it's talking about finances being out of harmony or somebody is taking like too much energy in the relationship or there's a lack of give and take or it's just like somebody is being the miser this is like the four of one the four of pentacles in the tarot somebody's being a miser in a situation and that is either in terms of their energy or in terms of finances or there could be financial restrictions because of a job loss for some of you. So that could be making you hold on to the finances there. But it's stopping the energy. So the cards are telling you not to do that because the in the upright, this is like giving and taking. This is um, the energy flowing. So if you have just lost a job recently try not to hold on to things just try and find a way to kind of control your finances but um to, just to budget back a little bit yeah um the divine feminine also got us a spirit message it says you are ready for a change of scenery explore so this is number 12 as well so that could be talking about um bringing in more um, stability, more creativity. It's asking you to change the scenery, so it could be asking you to be around nature, um, be around a scenery that is gonna promote kind of peace within your life as well. It could also be that the Divine Feminine has had enough of a certain situation in a relationship and she's ready to explore further, especially with the free yourself. And then it's like allowing yourself to enjoy that moment. So, she comes into the reading with the king of coins and discontent and boredom so what i'm initially getting from this is that somebody wasn't kind of valuing somebody else whether that's the divine masculine or the divine feminine somebody's not feeling valued or somebody's not valuing somebody yeah they could be seeing somebody as a commodity we have this boredom and discontent as well so the king of pentacles is about stability so it could be that there's, there's some st there is stability in the divine feminine's life but it could be that um in her relationships or how she's feeling at the moment is this discontent and boredom so it could also be in order with work as well. Somebody could be feeling discontent and bored with their work. So it's making them want to um, branch out, so to speak. We have the Divine Feminine under that. We have the Nine of Cups. And then in the complete opposite extreme, we have Trapped in Fear. So there's this kind of axis with that. So it's having everything you want but there's still something that's not quite right. And the Nine of Cups talks about something kind of getting hidden under the table for some of you. So, 
it could be that there's fears around your wishes around a situation but that's not good manifesting that's going to bring in whatever your fears are so allow yourself to get out of that fear we then have the nine of co coins the fears could be around finances because the nine of pentacles talks about the um earth sign capricorn taurus virgo but she's quite stable in her finances by herself however there is some mental conflict so some of the divine feminines could be worried about how their finances are going to be they're wanting to um follow their um to get their wish but they're trapped in fear about it so if that's you you're being asked to go and do something about it because i feel like with the king of pentacles this dick um discontent and boredom can lead you to the king of pentacles you could be pushed through that discontent and boredom we then have the three of coins so this could be somebody trying to come back now somebody trying to support what you're doing because we also have partnerships and alliances this is somebody coming in wanting to support you now seeing your value wanting to grow some stability with you now however we have you, maybe, I don't know if some of you are like, do I really want to take that back? It's that kind of energy. Because you're being asked to take a leadership role. We have the four here, which is about firm foundation. This is the emperor. It's about you being taking leadership of that fire energy. You taking leadership. Because they're very opposite energies as well. She's just kind of surrendering to the universe and allowing the universe... Um, are allowing things to kind of take her any place or it but it's more about you taking a leadership of that yeah and what's rigid what's um reiterated in the cards below that is also saying look rest and rejuvenate take some time to find out what it is that you actually want divine feminine and go out and get it because you've got the ace of wands this is saying yes go thumbs up do it yeah go find you do you because we then have the deception card there's some problems with deception we did have the seven of swords for the divine masculine as well and it was almost like some sort of action led down that tunnel however the king of swords talks about consequences for that actions and it could be that the divine feminine is seeing through some actions and delivering some consequences for some actions here as well this is talking about somebody standing in their truth standing in who they are owning their own authority um doing what's fair and just with the king of swords as well could be that there's a, a, a communication that's needed to clear the air here someone speaks their truth and they speak it so clearly yeah that it can't be misunderstood so we also then have for an authority this is like another um emperor card yeah it's talking about stability yeah so in order to have somebody could be coming in with an offer of marriage as well with this firm foundation however somebody could be not believing the offer or a bit discontent with it or like yeah yeah sort of thing so yet again the divine feminine is being asked to stand in her authority yeah because she's not moving forward this is the um chariot reverse this is deciding not to move forward with something yeah or it's, it's you're you're weighing up whether you should move forward with something yeah but it should only be fit it's like you're taking a leadership it could also be that somebody comes in and tries to dominate you in order to move forward with a some something but you're kind of not having it not when the king of swords is there as well so we then have the devil and harmony so this is like another axis again so the devil is talking about temptations it's talking about things that we're controlled by it's talking about um the material world but this is somebody's wanting not to be dominated not to be controlled they're wanting this true love this harmony this reciprocal energy and anything less than that I don't think the divine feminine is going to take at this moment because it's about standing in your truth, standing in your power, freeing yourself, being yourself and knowing that as you do so, it's going to bring your finances and your abundance in or your home in or your car in or your new job in. 
but those things are going to come from standing in your truth or recognizing a truth this month so take care stay blessed i really do hope this has helped if you'd like a personal reading from me all the information is in the box below thank you for all your likes your shares and your subscriptions take care stay blessed bye bye thank you